and thank you really to everybody who came and so many of you are standing, um, so that also motivates us to be brief. Um, it, um, the fact that this meeting is uh, this hearing of the Polish judges and prosecutors are, is organized by, uh, um, by Sophie Infeld, who is an experienced member of the European Parliament and tirelessly, tirelessly throughout the 10 years I have been observing your work, struggles for human rights everywhere and now we are also on the list of those countries where you have to struggle for justice, human rights, free courts, free press. This is dramatically said, but I think it, enc uh, it encourages um, not only um, citizens of Poland, judges, prosecutors, um, publishers, writers, etc. Um, to struggle for freedom, but um, in other countries, because we had uh, we had issues already with uh, Mal Malta, Romania, Hungary, and now we have to raise the issue of Polish judges, who now became the target of the attack of the ruling, um, the ruling party. And many of those judges, the, the fact that they are so courageous, I, I believe it encourages those in other countries where there are breaches of law, and the fact that you all are involved, this gives force. Um, uh, coming back to Polish judges, many of them are now facing dramatic choices. Um, either they will apply, apply the law honestly and decently and expect repercussions. You will hear about them, repercussions from the part of the government. Or they will keep silent and be passive uh, in respect to injustice, um, afraid of injustice, but also um, I would say it's very difficult to demand heroism from people. Sophie is a very experienced member of the European Parliament, but the fact that she is joined in organizing this today's meeting by Michal Szymeczka, who is our new member, um, this, is, uh, this is wonderful to, to have such colleagues who are involved in those issues which are crucial and will be crucial for this um, term of the European Parliament and European, and European Commission. So really, I'm very impressed. Now ODF, um, uh, the Open Dialogue Foundation, <laughs> um, you know, as far uh, reaches much further than only European Union. Uh, they are active in uh, Eastern um, Europe, outside of the European Union, and in Central Asia, and everywhere where human rights are being uh, where people are being harassed for their political involvement and human rights are being broken. And we have here Mr. Kamek with us and Ludmila Kozłowska. Uh, her story also is uh, worth a book, honestly, and it's not finished. And I wish you a lot of uh, courage. Thank you very much for organizing this, but you know what is characteristic, what's going on in my beloved um, homeland. With the Open Dialogue Foundation, people from today's government, I will call names, Mrs. Kempa, Mr. Jaki, Sariusz Wolski, Czarnecki, etc., cooperated, as far as I know, very well with the Open Dialogue Foundation, up to the moment when the foundation started criticizing breaches of law in Poland. And then they underwent an incredible attack from, from the side of the public media, public media, which are not public really anymore, and from the side of the government. But you don't give up, and please do not give up. Continue your involvement, not only for Poland, it's the whole Europe and, and further than that. Now, I am extremely honored that we can sit in one row with those people you see on my left who, uh, who, who, who stand for justice in Poland, who, um, um, realize that um, so much depends on them today, um, uh, who didn't uh, break down under this incredible pressure that is on them. Um, they realize that after they will come back to Poland, after this meeting, there will be a shitstorm of hate um, and accusations against them, that they are traitors of the country because they came to talk to the European Parliament, to all of you. Um, they will be accused of betrayal of the country. They will be called traitors and targovica, which they are anyhow until now, but the trolls and haters are already uh, warming up uh, to start. 
And we, they realize it very well, and still they are here because we feel all co-responsible for the for the for the level of justice and human rights in the European Union. And the last sentence I would like to um, add is um, um, the worst advisor is fear. The worst <laughs> advisor is fear, and uh, and. Um, it's terrible when you come to a situation that being decent, being honest, following the rule of law, demands from you not only decency, but demands from, from you um, courage, endurance, special devotion to the cause. And I think I would like to tell you in the name of millions of Poles and um, other citizens of the European Union, a great thank you. Thank you very much.